What's up everyone, this is Mr. Reed, Choir Director from Harney Middle School, and in this video tutorial we're going to take a look at how to access the Charms website and update our personal information. So you're going to first start by opening up your browser, um, whatever you're using, in this case I'm going to use Safari, I am on a Mac, um, and then you could Google search Harney Middle School Choir, or you could actually go up into the address bar and type www.harney, uh, H-A-R-N-E-Y, mschoir.com and when you put in all that information it pulls up our welcoming page and uh, this is what it should look like to you if you go ahead and click on the spot that says charms it should pull up the actual charm site um, now this site is embedded into the Harney Middle School site so if it doesn't look like this um, then you can actually access the charms website directly by clicking on the side here where it says here um, if it does access uh, just like this then you could type your student number in and get started but let's say for example it doesn't um, then you're going to have to click here to access the website directly all right then if you get to this page you're gonna go into the upper right hand corner and you're gonna click on enter and go to where it says parent students members all right it's gonna ask you for your school code if you forget the school code you can always go back and access it right here at the choir page that you're at. It's Harney MS Choir, just like the choir page HarneyMSChoir.com. So we type in Harney MS Choir and we hit the Enter Charms button. It's going to pull up this site. We know it's the Harney Middle School site because up in the upper right hand corner this does say Harney Middle School and it says Parent Student Area. If that's the case, then we're going to go ahead and put the student ID number in first. Um, we'll go ahead and put my little ID in here, and I pull up my own personal site. You'll see it says Mr. Reed, and this is what your little site should look like. First place you're going to want to go to is in the upper left-hand corner. There's a spot that says student info. You're going to click on that and go into personal information. When you click on that, it's going to ask you personal information. It's going to say, okay, middle name, and you're going to put your middle name in there, your address, everything else. Now, this is for the actual student, all of this information. You could put your locker combo in there. You don't have to. Um, the birthday, I do suggest that you put it on there so it's on our calendar so everyone knows when your birthday is, and that's always helpful. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, if you do have a cell phone, we are asking that you put that in there and the email address and all of that that you can. Uh, if you're a parent and you're watching this then where you would go to is the add new adult section and you click on that. Once you've clicked on that you'll see that you can type in your names if it's uh, Mr. let's say and let's say it was my name Jason and we go in here and put read. Um, I could put my work number and then my home phone number, cell phone number. Please select the correct carrier, whoever you have, so that if you do receive text messages, we can text you. Um, your address, city and state and zip. Um, your relation to the student, if you're a father, mother, stepfather, we do want to know that information. And your email address, very important that you're putting that in there uh, so that you can be receiving um, messages from us, uh, letting you know about concerts and things like that. Um, we do not need to know your occupation and skills. However, if you want us to know something like you're a seamstress or you can, you have a certain skill that maybe can help us out, go ahead and put that in there. That would be great. Um, driver's license number, don't need to know. And we don't need to know your data of birth either. So when you have finished all of that information, you go ahead and you hit the update button. And once you hit that, everything is up to date. So the next part you want to go to is change password because we don't want to keep the student IDs as our passwords. So um, go ahead and think about something that both you and your son or daughter uh, can remember. And the old password would be the um, student ID number that you had originally put in there. So that's their student ID number. And then the new password, let's say I did um, Red Sox. Okay, and I type that again, Red Sox. And then uh, the new password hint, I would have to give myself a hint. So maybe my favorite baseball team or my favorite team, right? And you can type all that in. And, uh, and then when that's all done, you hit change password and you should be all set. So that's how you access the Charms website. That's how you change the student information and also change your own uh, adult information and change the password. 
So thanks for watching this video tutorial. Feel free to check out the other ones on harneymsquire.com.